Hello there, welcome to Arm and Muscles workout today. We're going to be doing a sledgehammer or steel mace workout, so you can do this with a sledgehammer or if you own one, a steel mace as well. All the exercises are the same whether you're using the sledgehammer or the steel mace, it's the same variations throughout. Today's workout, we're going to do a warm up, a workout, and a cool down, and it's going to run with 40 seconds effort, 20 seconds rest for the first two rounds. The last two rounds are 30 seconds effort, 30 seconds rest. So. so to start, we're going to do 10 arm rotations forward and 10 arm rotations backwards. So nice and slow under control. Make sure you can feel each muscle. So chest. Shoulder blades, shoulders. Add a bit of a squat in if you want. And then again the other way. Next up, we're going to go into hammer time salutes. So I'd like you to do 20 of these. So feet, wide in the shoulder width apart, one hand in a salute, one hand straight out, pinky finger is going to be on top. We're going to put our weight more towards the saluting hand. Then what we're going to do is we'll swap, go through a bit of a hammer time dance. Now as you get more comfortable, you can speed up. So, there's 20 of them. Remember, if you're viewing this on the Arm and Muscle On Demand website, you can go down below, get a PDF for this workout with all the variations on so you can take it any way you want. Next up, we're going to do rainbows with your nose. So, you want to look up to the sky, over to one shoulder, and then over to the other one. And there's two, go for 10. A bit sunny for me. Once you've done those 10, I would like you to do a small dinner plate with your nose, then a big dinner plate, then do it again in the other direction. So a small dinner plate, sort of just looking forward, then a big dinner plate, then in the other direction, small, then big. Great, so now let's stretch off the shoulders a little bit. So bring one arm across your chest, Pull it in, and if you want, we can pivot at the hips to get the hamstrings stretched as well. So hold that for 10 seconds. And slowly back up, switch arms. Pivot if you want to. Make sure you can feel the stretch in your shoulder as well. Next up, we're going to do a wrist stretch. So, you're going to go into a prayer position and pull your hands down without letting your palms separate. Feel that stretch. And now do 10, open the gates. Brilliant. Now we're going to do a reverse press stretch. So back of your hands together, pull your arms up. Then we're going to do 10 close the gates. Keep your toes pointing down. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Shake it off there. So grab a drink if you want to. 
and then grab your mace or your sledgehammer. So I'm gonna do these first few with the sledgehammer. First thing we're gonna do is metronomes. So you want to stand in a rack stance, so feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, push the hips forward, shoulders back. We're going to hold the mace with the hands about belly button height or just below. And we're going to rock it from side to side. So one, two, for 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, under control, eight, it's warming up the wrists. And then we can swap sides, however you want, or we can do a bit of a ballistic curl as well. And same again on the other side. One, two. If you want a more in-depth video on how to do the metronomes, please visit the site. Six, seven, eight, under control. Cool. Next up, we're going to do 10 pendulums. So again, if you want a more in-depth video on how to do these, please visit YouTube or scroll further down on the on-demand site. Place the weight against the shoulder, not your collarbone. Let the weight of the mace or sledgehammer fall behind you. And then we're going to rock the mace or sledgehammer from side to side. One, two. Keep your hands loose, hands behind your head. When we're ready, try and resist the movement to bring to a stop, tricep press, and bring that back over. Then we'll swap our hands over, same again on the other side. Keep your abs tight, you want to keep the hips forward and a slight bend in the knees. Keep your head back. And resist the motion once you hit 10, tricep press, and back over. Cool. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through each of the exercises that we're going to be doing today. You can then get a chance to practice it. Then what we'll do is we'll go into the workout for real. First up, we're going to do the archer switch. So I'm going to demonstrate this one with the sledgehammer, but again, you can do exactly the same movements with the mace. We we'll start with a double thumb up position. We're going to bicep curl, send the mace out to one side, and then pull on the tail, right? As if though you're drawing a string of a bow. Pull back, swap hands, out to the other side. If you want to take it up a notch, we can go back down, do a ballistic curl, curl back up, send it out. And that's the archer switch. Next up, we're going to do the bent over row. So again, same with sledgehammer or mace. So in inward thumb grip, we're going to pivot at the hips, keeping the back straight. And what we're going to do is row the elbows towards the hips. Up. If you want to make that movement harder, choke down the mace a bit. If you want to make it harder, bring your hand closer to the actual weight. Then we can take that up a notch again by, if you've choked about midway down, when you row, twist to one side and back down. And perform the same again, but on the other side. So row, or row with twist. And there we have the bent over row. So the next one, I'm gonna demonstrate this with the actual mace instead. So these ones are canoe paddles. So I'll start with the easiest variation. Sitting in an L position, what we're going to do is with a double thumb down position. You're going to paddle twice as if though you're in a canoe, swap hands, paddle twice. 
To make that harder, lean further back, make it harder still, take your feet off the floor, one, two, switch, one, two. If you're a bit more seasoned, we can throw in a joust switch instead. So, you know, switch, switch. And that is canoe paddles. Next up, we're going to be doing side ballistic curls. If you're not used to a ballistic curl yet, scroll further down on the on-demand site. There should be a little bit of a tutorial there for you to show you how to do a ballistic curl. But in short, we go from a crossbody position into a prayer position, back over into crossbody. To do a side ballistic curl, when we're in crossbody, twist towards the mace head, and then do a ballistic curl, twist, ballistic curl. What we can do is take that upper level, try and get a bit faster. Eventually, what you'll find yourself doing is working in a cross fighter flow. So keep your head facing forward, keep that twist, and then you have the cross fighter flow. After the side ballistic curls, we have one of my favorites, the uppercut lunge. So we want an inward thumb grip, and we're gonna put the mace head or sledgehammer head behind us. So at the moment, it's in my right hand. So if the mace or sledgehammer is in my right hand, I'm gonna step forward with my left leg, then I'm going to perform an uppercut and allow my torso to twist. And then step back, lunge and uppercut. If that's a bit tricky, just try stepping forward and take the lunge out altogether. Step forward, uppercut. What we want to do is make sure there's that bend in the elbow. So we don't want to be out here. Keep this back hand loose. We want to bring the head up close. If you want to take that to the next level, we can throw a switch in as well. So this time we're starting a rack stance and you'll be uppercutting to the side rather than forwards. So take your lower hand, uppercut, lunge, Back to the rack stance, swap hands, uppercut lunge. And that is the uppercut lunge. Last but not least, we have the rack squat. So we're going to stand in the rack position and clue is in the name, we're going to squat whilst in the rack position. And squat down, send the mace out a little bit. Breathe out as you stand up. That's a bit tricky. Place a mace or sledgehammer head on the floor and then try and squat. And use the handle for support. If you want to take it to the next level, we can throw in a barbarian as well. So as we go down, we stand up, send the mace head behind us. And as you squat down, bring it back in front. So those are all your movements, give them a practice. Once you feel confident, come back to this video. Although, don't wear yourself out, we've still got the workout to go. So grab yourself a quick drink. You will get some small breaks for a little bit of water. We're gonna have a 10 second countdown, and then we'll get involved in the workout. I'll be starting with the sledgehammer, I will occasionally be switching between the sledge and the mace. So, get yourselves comfortable. 10 seconds. First one up is archer switches. That's out and back. So, in two, one, and go. Curl it up, send it out, pull on the tail. Switch hands, out, pull on the tail. Breathe out as the mace goes out. We can take it up a notch, add in a ballistic curl, down, ballistic curl, up, out, down, ballistic curl, up, out, down, ballistic curl. 10 seconds to go. Rest there. Cool, 20 seconds rest, 
Then we're gonna go into the bent over rows. Keep breathing, keep moving. So in five, two, one, pivot at the hips, row up. Send that handle towards the hip crease. Pull with the elbows. Breathe out as the mace comes up. I keep calling the sledgehammer the mace. I'm sure you get the gist. 10 seconds to go. And rest there. Cool. Now we're going to swap sides. We're going to do it again on the other side. So, if you choke down, try and do the same on that side. If you're really close to the mace head, do it again on this side. And away we go. Twenty seconds to go. That's it. Keep going. Control it through your pace. Five seconds. Pull those shoulder blades together. And rest there. Next up, we've got the canoe paddles. So this one's on the floor. 10 seconds. So you start in the L-sit position. There we go. So one, two, switch hands. One, two. Make that harder, lean further back. Make it harder still, lift your feet off the floor. One, two, switch hands. One, two. Both thumbs point towards the tail. And rest there. Whew. Right, you've got a minute's rest. Grab a drink. Small sips. Keep moving, keep breathing. Don't just try and sit on the floor. I'm gonna do this next round with the mace, but if you're using a sledgehammer, it's still the same movements. So about 25 seconds to go, and we're gonna start with side ballistic curls. So, roughly 10 seconds, start preparing yourself. So, we're gonna start with side ballistic curls, twist towards the mace head, and away we go. Ballistic curl, twist, ballistic curl, twist. The idea is, slowly, when you're confident, build the speed up. Fifteen seconds to go. Hope it doesn't rain on me. Five, two, one, and rest there. So Twenty seconds rest. Next one up will be the uppercut lunge. So this one is in an inward thumb grip. Mace head behind, lunge out with the opposite leg. Away we go. Keep looking forwards. 
Allow the torso to twist. So the handle should finish level with the top of your chest. 20 seconds to go. Keep that wrist straight. Breathe out on the punch. Three, one, and rest there. 20 seconds, swap hands, in with thumb grip. So in three, two, one, lunge with the opposite leg. Keep the wrist straight. Keep looking forwards. Look at the target. Should be straight line from your knuckles down the back of your forearm. Keep that grip. And rest there. Next up of this round is the rack squat. Then we've got another minute's rest. So in the rack position, in three, two, one, squat down, ace out, stand up. That's a bit tricky. Place the head on the floor. And squat. Fifteen seconds to go. And Rest there. So you got a minute's rest, you need a drink, now it's time to grab one. Next up now, we're gonna do all that again with 30 seconds effort, 30 seconds rest. I'll do this next round with the mace just show what it's like with the mace. Then we'll after that, I'll do it with the sledgehammer. So about 25 seconds to go. Keep moving, deep breaths. So 10 seconds, start preparing yourselves. We're going to start with archer switches. So up with thumb grip. And away we go. Out and switch. Or switch it over, pull on the tail, and draw on the string of a bow. Nails on the shoulders of this one. Made harder if you pull on the other side. And rest there. Let's just unlock this. Next up, bent over rows. So, in with thumb grip. I'll do it on that side. In 10 seconds. So, feet about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna pivot at the hips. And Away we go, up and down, towards the hip crease. We want, add that rotation in. Some extra oblique work. The further the head is away from you, the harder it will be. And, 
press there. And we're going to swap sides. Do the same again. About 10 seconds to go. In with thumb grip. Shoulder width apart. Pivot. Imagine you're trying to shut a car door with your bum. And away we go. Halfway there. Five. Three, two, one. And rest there. Next up, we've got the canoe paddles. Find your space on the floor. Remember, we can start in the L-sit position. I'm gonna start this one with my feet off the floor. So down, down with thumb grip. So both thumbs pointing away from the mace or sledgehammer head. In three, two, one, and away we go. Paddle twice, switch hands, paddle twice. Remember, we could take that up a notch. If you're a bit more seasoned, and throw in a joust switch. And rest there. Cool. We've got a minute's rest. Grab a drink. Keep moving, keep breathing. If you're using the on demand service and you want to see more workouts like this, leave me some feedback. If you're on YouTube, Give this a thumbs up. 20 seconds. Thereabouts. So first one will be side ballistic curls. So feet shoulder width apart. And a twist towards the head. Cross body position to start with. Three, two, one. Blister curl, switch, switch, blister curl, switch, blister curl. You can try and speed that up a bit. If you want to try and go for the crossfire to flow, keep your head facing forward and get into that flow. Great for the obliques, this one. Working the biceps too. And of course, the forearm. And rest there. Next up, it's the uppercut lunges. So remember with the uppercut, keep that elbow bent, keep the arm in. We want to finish with the mace or sledgehammer head around about the top of your chest. So in five, And away we go. So opposite leg to the hand the head is in. If we want, we can add a switch in there. If you want to take it up a level. But if you do this switch version, make sure you do it again on the next round. And rest there. I've got to do it again on the next round, haven't I? So 20 seconds. Start to prep yourselves. So I'm starting the rack for me. Three, two, one. 
and go. Opposite legs to the hand. Believe it or not, you can take this one up a level even more. If that's a bit more advanced, I'll be on the scope of today's class. And rest there. Last one, we've got the rack squat, then we're going to a cool down. So 15 seconds, keep moving, keep breathing. So in five. And away we go. Squat down, stand up. We can take this to another level. Add in a barbarian. If you do the barbarian, make sure that the head of the hammer or the mace doesn't hit your bum. Take it behind you under control. Five seconds to go. And we are done. Take a minute or so, let's just catch our breath, grab a drink, and then we'll move into the cool down. Okay, hopefully you've caught your breath. We're gonna go into the cool down now. So the first thing we're gonna do is chest openers, or I like to call them standing cobras. So what we're gonna do is put your hands behind the head, apply pressure to the back of your head and resist that pressure with your neck. This is really gonna help with your posture, keeping your head up to try and combat that text, text neck a lot of us have. So hands behind your head, put some pressure on. Then we're gonna squat down, curl into a fetal position, but while standing, then stand up. 10 times. So there's two, three, four, five. Push the hips forward. Feel the shoulder blades come together. And there's 10. So, once we've done 10 of the standing cobras, next we're going to do is the prayer stretch. This time I want your feet to be wider than shoulder width apart. Just try and get that stretch in your groin. So, prayer stretch. Pull the hands down, don't let the palms separate. If you can't feel that stretch, just practice with trying to rotate your forearms until you can feel the stretch. Hold that for about 20 seconds. Deep breaths. Keep the bum tense. And then slowly release. If you can, Try and squeak a little bit more distance between your legs, and then we'll do the reverse prayer. Again, you can experiment with forearm rotation. And slowly relax, then heel toe, walk your way back up to standing. Last thing we're going to do is stretch off the shoulders. So it's the same as the shoulder stretch we did at the start. One arm across the chest, pull that arm in, pivot at the hips to get that extra hamstring stretch. We're going to hold that for 20 seconds. Deep breathe in. Keep back straight. Slowly release and stand up. And we'll swap sides. Pull 
halfway there. Throw release, stand up. And that is today's workout done. Like I said, if you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, or if you're on demand, leave some feedback at the bottom of the page. Don't forget you can download this on the on-demand site into a small or large PDF document so you can take this workout with you wherever you want. Hope you had a good time. See you again.